You guys, I just got home. My birthday outfit just got here. By what I can see, I'm like terrified. I'm like, I don't want to pick it up. A little taxidermy moment. I know it's like not alive, but oh my God, it's so scary. Ah. Let's unpack this. Oh my God. I'm like scared it's just gonna like, like look up. I don't even want to twist it the whole way. I'm so scared it's gonna like literally turn all the way right now. Oh my God. This is how it looks on. I had it done back in May. And it's like a little... This is insane. I just got out of the shower. Clearly my hair is wet. I just did my hair too. Bleached it and then got a haircut also. And I already prepped my skin. I did a toner, moisturized, and then we did clear eyes. Cause we don't want to have any like bloodshot eyes. So, oh my God, I keep looking at the viewfinder versus like the camera. But um, yeah. Let's get into getting ready for my birthday tonight. I'm finally turning. I think you guys think I'm like a lot older than I am because I'm not saying an age, but like, I just don't believe in talking about age because age is just a number. That's the day by day. So what I do first is I cleanse my energy. I like making everything experience. I like like romanticizing my life. So I use this perfume literally just to like get the vibes going. This is the one I use on my body, the Michael Kors, but I like the smell. And, and I just like my area to smell like it, you know? I have lavender. I use lavender a lot. I already put lavender oil on. So let's get started. We're gonna go in with a Makeup Forever color corrector. Oh my God, you really can't see. Well, I would rather you focus on me. I have really red skin. We're gonna go ahead and add the Professional by Benefit, the Givenchy Prisma Primer. I mix it together. And I like to like pat my face a little bit just to get like the circulation going. And I put a lot of makeup on my neck. A lot of people don't do that, but some of you need to. Just pat it down. And no, you don't need your mouth open. Just my lips are literally so heavy. We let that sit for a little bit. Next, we go with NARS Matte Concealer. Medium one in custard. I washed my hands, obviously. So don't think I'm dirty little. <laughs> Forget you can see too. I don't like to set it like all underneath. I think that looks like really cartoonish to me. I like looking realistic because like the rest of me isn't realistic. So I only put it in the areas that I really do need it. Fast forward to me just like putting it everywhere. Just like this. Put it where like the muscle splits so when the lights like hit you this part like stands out and then i also take it up here so you have more of a snatched face and remember this is like according to like my face so maybe you guys don't need this much or maybe you guys need more i'm like this is because my makeup is based off sunlight and then also how like the club lights hit you from above so I like to go like this, so I can see exactly how like, the lights will hit. Remember guys, this is just how Mateo does it. So that was step one of my concealer. We're gonna go with the second round. The side of the nose to make it more snatched. All the way to the inner eye. And then also I, I don't wear like liquid foundation, because I feel like with foundation it like really cakes you up, which looks pretty on some people. Me personally, I don't like being like caked face. So that was round two, now we're gonna go for round three. We're gonna touch up the spots that like just need more like popping out. 
And then I also have like a little scar under my nose from my lip lift. Perfect. And then I like to use a different beauty blender for powders. That one's more for creams. We're gonna go ahead and bake our face. I like to use Laura Mercier, obviously. I use translucent, like just the regular like white one. Cause I noticed with the um, Laura Mercier, like this one like really like smooths out your skin and like your pores and like everything. And then I go with the Givenchy Prisme in Satin Blank. So I use the Laura Mercier for smoothing my skin and then I use this one for brightening my skin. This one also has like glitter in it. Bring it in. And then right here like, like arch it upwards. And it'll give you like more of a snatched face. And then I have another Laura Mercier, except it's, this is Translucent Honey, which is a more brown, yellowish undertone. And then I use this for everything below, like my nose. Remember, wherever you put concealer, you have to set it. And yeah, see, like right now we're like paler than a ghost, um, but this is just the concealer and baking part. And I am actually starving and I actually let my baking powder sit for a while so I'm gonna go ahead and make my little chicken nuggets while I bake and then I'm pretty sure by the next time that you see me like it's probably gonna be like really dark outside and I'm probably gonna have the ring light on now okay so now that I'm back I know it's like super dark outside we're gonna go ahead with the Laura Mercier powder I just use it to add color to my skin so my first color we're gonna go in with the 5N one it looks like this and next, we're gonna go with the MAC 182 brush. They'll last you forever if you take care of them. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the baking powder with the MAC 138. We'll go in with the same Laura Mercier powder, but this one's a little bit lighter. This one's um, 4N1. I like to use different shades, just so it like transitions out smoothly. And then we'll get the darker one. Remember, this is just to add color. I'm not really trying to cover anything. Kind of like a rainbow. Yes, I do four different colors on my forehead. Mix it together. And then we get one of these boys, the MAC 163 brush. I use this one to contour everything. And I might come to a surprise to you, but for contouring, I use the Fit Me one. You can literally get this at CVS for like maybe six bucks or something. Right now I'm using the 360 Mocha color. Clearly used and abused. But again, I do my makeup for like the camera. I do my makeup for the physical people that are like actually looking at me like in present time. It's all for the camera. And then we'll get the same brush, but We'll do another Fit Me foundation, but the 375, um, this one's called Java. This one is maybe the same darkness, but this one has more of a grayish tone to it. So this one's more shadow, the other one's more like adding color. I don't want to get it into the hair. Smoothen that out. Yeah, see now that this has like the gradient going. Okay, and then we're going to wipe off the lower half of the baking. Again, we go back to the darker Laura Mercier. I only do it, the dark one, from here to here. Keep this dark and then this light. And then just to keep the residue still from like the darker one, I'll pick up the lighter one, the Laura Mercier, the lighter one. And then I'll do it on the chin area. We're gonna go ahead and wipe off the top part. Okay, now the lighter. Laura Mercier again. We're not gonna touch this part at all because again, I don't like to layer like my makeup because then it looks like super cakey. It'll be from here up to here. Like it's literally just this little area. And we just mix it in. And then with this, from what we did up here, the contour, I like to use the residue. So it just looks like a... <laughs> we go back to the Fit Me contour one, except we go with the darkest one, the one that we put like all the way up here, the one that looks like an actual shadow. And I only do a little bit. I don't like to take it all the way over here, but remember it's from here to like the end of your lip, so. And then we go ahead and blend that out. And then I don't like mixing it with the bottom one because the point is to like have it cut. So I just blend out the top one. And then this is the part that like everyone like starts coming at me for thinking that I did like a lot more filler. The only thing I've been getting done is my lips. 
and Botox, obviously. I just started doing this like six months ago, and that's why everyone thinks that I had surgery again. I go back with the, the creamy concealer, and then I put it right on the edge. See, that looks like a lot more cut. And some on the jawline, just to make that pop out more. That way, if you ever take like a, a face forward picture, you go like this, like this just looks lighter while this looks darker, and it just makes your cheek pop out. And then we set that cream. Next, I go in with this brush. Then we go back with the contour color that looks more like shadow versus actual color. And now we're gonna do the nose contour. See that, it's like kind of like two lines, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that. We don't wanna blend it out too much. Like I said, we're more for the camera than for the people. And then we get the same creamy concealer by Nars and we clean it up a little bit. So sides are cleaned up now. Let's do the middle part. And then we get the residue that was left on the nose contour and we do it at the bottom. Let me put one last one at the tip. Cute. And then for brows, I like to go in with the Sephora Nutmeg Brown. I hate the term that they're sisters, not twins, but girl, let's try to make them twins. And then we're gonna go ahead with setting spray. I use the Urban Decay D Slick oil control one, and then I actually mix it with the Ben Nye Blue Setting Spray, cause this one like actually keeps your face like oil controlled. But I don't I don't find it to like actually help with like sticking on. And then I don't know what the hell the Ben Nye one has, but like it feels like glue on your face. So I mix both of them together. It's literally me giving you all my secrets. And we let that semi dry. I like to go again. The Libra in me is like very. What if I miss this one? So I like to do two rounds. And now that both of those two layers have like dried down already, I go back with the setting powder. And I put it in all the spots that I want popping out. I want them to have flashback. Yes, there are some spots that you want to have flashback. And then we go ahead and do the nose. And then right on like the under eye. I actually go in with the Locket Setting Powder by Kat Von D only because this one is like pure white so you're like 100% gonna get like a flashback what we did earlier see how that kind of lifted the face we go ahead and leave this on for a while and yeah I'll show you the finishing touches right after this okay now that that's been sitting there for a while time to take off the white cast and this cast is basically to leave a flashback Ben Nye um, Luxury Powder in pink you set your face again after the setting spray I use pink because it complements me the most and since I already have a reddish undertone pink is like the middle ground and we take off the excess powder that got onto the, your lips and then I use Burt's Bees pink lip balm I already got lip tattoo so I don't really need color and then I love to use Vaseline like regular Vaseline and then we're done 